At least some aspirin, something. Anything. I have some aspirin in my purse, too. What do you want? What do I want? What do you want, Cole? Because I'm your only ticket out of here, kid. Kappa Alpha Delta. Man, it's called your fraternity. Yeah, we're telling his frat brothers rape me. Why would, why would he use those letters, those three letters on his victims? Oh. Most maybe there's other victims out there with other letters on them. Spell something else, who knows? Do you really believe that? No. Need some help with your math? Dad? Hey. How'd you get in here? Some new maid let me in. I got myself sprung from the joint. You'd better be here to be my dad or get the hell out. Is she awake? They're still weaning her off of the drugs that are uh, keeping her in the coma. You know what, Sam, why don't we go down to the cafeteria and I'm gonna get you some yummy ice cream. Oh, yummy. Wanna go? Let's go. Oh. Just yummy, call me yummy. if there's any news. I'm out. Yes, we will. Bye-bye. Daddy? Come on. What is it? I was just served this. Todd suing for temporary custody of all three children. There's a bone marrow donor for Shane. Roxy, are you serious? Oh yeah, there's a match. This is great. Who is it? That's right, Gigi. I'm a match for Shane. You are? Yeah. You really are? <laughs> not... It says right here that my bone marrow can save Shane's life. <laughs> oh my god. I know how happy it'd be. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell Rex. Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. Not so fast, sis. Stacy, what's the matter? Is there some kind of problem with the match? <laughs> I'm not giving Shane my bone marrow. Why would I save your kid? Whose marrow matches Shane's? Is anybody we know? Well, this might come as a shock. What might? You were a mess last time when I told you Rex didn't want to see you after the last lie you told him about his death. <sighs> Can you imagine how he'll react when you tell him the real deal? He will hate you, Roxy, for the rest of his life. Why would I be shocked about who Shane's match is? Well, I didn't actually mean that. I, I meant, um, I just have this huge feeling that there's gonna be a match for Shane. I just know that that's gonna come true. Whereas the restraining order against Todd Manning has expi expired? Uh, how's that? And he is no longer considered a threat or danger? Who says? Not me. <sighs> and whereas Todd Manning has fulfilled the requirements to revisit the custody agreement? Uh, impossible. <sighs> and whereas the children's mother, Blair Kramer, is incapacitated? How dare he use that against her? Dory. We're talking Todd here. And whereas the children have no specific adult supervision, they have me. A and me. <laughs> and that in their mother's absence, the children are left in the care of a grandmother who has suffered from psychosis mm -hmm. most of her adult life. I'm sorry. It it's all right, Dorian. <laughs> and an aunt 
who has been accused and convicted of a number of felonies, including murder. Yeah, you're afraid to get your hopes up about me. I've bailed on you one too many times, I know. But not this time, because I'm up for good. Charges were all dropped against me. Sure. Like, that's not never happened before. Yeah. It won't again. What if Mom wakes up and says that you tried to kill her? You're out of here. OK, hold on, hold on. The restraining order against me has been lifted. Take a look. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me what to do. If you want to get to your kid, you go through me first. I know you think like a detective and you can't jump to conclusions, but let's look at the facts. Janet Kettering was my nurse. I lived with Wes Granger, and it's common knowledge that the Blair was my enemy from way back. Halpern was going to testify against Manning. He got in a fight with Granger. Blair was keeping his kids from him. Seems the killer's targeting anyone that knows you are Manning. You want my ticket out of here? What is that supposed to mean? I'm defending you on the DUI and reckless endangerment charges. Forget it. I'll take my chances with a public defender. I can help you, Cole. Yeah? <laughs> just like you helped my mom? You ripped her into pieces just so you can suck up the Todd! I don't want any part of you. Your mother does. She hired me to represent you. You tell me there's a bone marrow match for my son, and then you say it's just a hunch. Yeah, it's kind of like a feeling, you know, like when I go to the track and I'm so sure that horse is going to come in. And it usually doesn't. Yeah, I know that, but this time it's different. I'm just so sure that it's going to happen. How? How are you so sure? Well, I'm just so sure that the big guy up there, he's going to love Shane so much that he's just going to make a miracle happen. I'll just bet everything on it. You sure that's all you meant? You're not going to give Shane your bone marrow? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Why would I help you after the way you've treated me? Stacy, you said everything was OK. Well, it isn't. You never made me feel like part of the family. Ever since I got here, you've been on my case about finding a job and what to do, what not to wear. Well, that's because my son was there. What, and I'm the black sheep in the family? I never said that. No, but when your boyfriend said he got into bed with me because I drugged him, who did you believe? It sure wasn't your sister, I can tell you that much. And then you kicked me out. Now you want me to all of a sudden get needles stuck in me for you? You haven't done a damn thing for me. 